All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> what else do you do uh, right after you end up cleaning your truck up? You make a video about it. Make a real quick one here and kind of just show you guys my truck. It's a 2011 GMC Sierra 1500. And I tell you what, I love this thing. I had a Ford before. I had a brand new Ford before. And I did not care for it because of a couple different features on it but uh i do like this one it's an older model and pretty sharp I'm loving it love this truck i go everywhere in it now so but uh it's a working man's truck so it's you know it's a uh, it's not the cleanest thing in the world but there's the front dash i keep a little inverter plugged in and uh, try not to leave it in too long because it runs my battery out. <laughs> All right, so yeah, okay, so I keep my bag right here, ready to go. Got my gauges right here. So the bag we'll have to do another day. I'll have to show you guys that another day, but uh, this is more about my truck. These are some of my extra tools I keep. God, you know what I mean? Just really, I mean, Seamers, I got uh, wrenches, sheet metal cutters, PVC cutters, my drill, just stuff that I don't normally keep in my, my service bag all the time. I'll keep here. Uh, tomorrow we got an install, and so I'll just end up taking my bag plus my my little bin here. And this thing costs like seven bucks at Home Depot, so that thing's lasted me eight years every since the beginning i've had that since the beginning guys keep a couple motors on hand so i keep uh condenser fan motors on me and then i keep the uh, 120 volt motors on me so 1075 i keep a three quarter horsepower and a and a top half horsepower so but i don't i don't use uh I don't do a lot of package unit uh, blower motors. Granted, I did one the other day. All right, and then, so here's what I keep on the passenger side. Basically, I just keep some batteries uh, back in here. Um, and then a few critical things that I tend to need and I really want when I want to have them. So, and that is roto hammer. I got my combustion analyzer here. We've got the, um, Here. It's the big 3 8 line, so when we vacuum it down, the Appian hoses, that's what it is. And then I got the little uh, straighter tools in there as well. This has been a blessing to have when you're vacuuming down, so whenever I do, I just love using this guy. So, gotta have it on my truck. So, <clears throat> and then every video HVAC technician, any videoing HVAC technician needs to have their stands and whatnot so that's the case for the camera stuff um here we got our uh, tubing bender so i like i love the yellow jacket tubing bender and then i got a rigid uh, camera that sits back uh, here so anytime i'm looking at heat exchangers or anything like that to look into some scope into something i can bring that baby out it's really nice to use all right so i'm um, you know i'm not exactly sure what's going on in this front seat but um, I think a lot of us can relate to that. I'm a true contractor. Golf ball's in the front seat of my truck, right next to my Inficon leak detector. All right, you do a lot. You do a lot better for me. You guys, you're okay, but that one, love you. So um, yeah, that's the inside of my truck. Sorry, I can't zoom out a little bit more, but that's about it. If anybody you guys really want to know. Um, so I mount my phone on that one when I'm driving. And then when I'm doing my in-truck in video, I mount it to that one right there. So, all right. So we'll break open this side first. Not a lot of room where I'm standing there. But okay, so keep a little pull out. This came with the bins, so... So I keep my some copper and gas, some PVC in there. All right, what are we doing here? So I like to keep my um, dye kit right here. I just I don't know. Well, it's kind of always where I keep it. 
and I got a socket set my son gave me a long time ago, and I think he's right. I think that's also been there since the beginning too, because I think Eric bought that for me the first year I was in HVAC. That's a little socket set that I still use. Got my Tech Inspect up here for ECM motors. Um, you guys may have seen me pull this out in other fan or blower motor videos because this is my this is my motor bag. So I keep some uh, basically just keep. Uh, Oh goodness. Yeah, so motor pullers, gloves, oil, vice grips, uh, Allen keys, you name it, it's in there. But uh, it works for me when I'm doing a blower motor. I'll just take that with me and everything I need for a blower motor is right there. I really like having that bag for that occasion. So saves me from having to keep tools in my tool bag too. And then this is not you know, like super organized, but uh, you know, I got my rope for installs. Sometimes we gotta pull our furnaces up in the attic. Um, gloves and elbow pads, you know, like if you're ever crawling under a house, I like to put these little, um, they're like elbow braces that you get at Walgreens, but um, I use them, if, I use them for, to, so my elbows don't get, you know, so scraped up all the time. That's old guys, it's hurt, it hurts me. So, uh, megometer. And just some uh, straps, tie downs. Here, over here on this side, uh, keeping some raid. Oh my God, I just, I did a video not too long ago and the, I was doing a, a uh, blower motor, a package unit up on the roof and that raid right there saved me. It was, uh, bees and blower motors or something like that was <laughs> the name of the the video but uh, here I keep my soap bubbles um, some degreaser cleaner um, my my torch my map gaps torch and then some uh, cool gel back in the back my Makita charger that has also been with me since day one this is my uh, rigid sawzall and this baby has I love it I did a video on it when I first got it and now look at it, the bag is all oily and dirty now skill saw $35 bought that like seven years ago still working and I got some light bulbs just in case my head bust one out up in the attic also like to keep uh, some uh, mr. clean wipes uh, right there so clean and magic erasers So oh, we'll come around to the other side of the truck now. Check out these bins. A little bit more involved here. So there's uh, what I'm keeping in there. Pretty convenient to have that. Evamp coil, spray glue, spray paint, butyl tape, line set tape foil tape, blue tape, new Schrader cores, got a uh, pressure gauge. Uh, inspector told me I had to get a new one because I guess the last one was a little broken. He still passed it anyways, good man. And you can just see what else is here, here man. I got, you know, cork insulation tape, some foam tape. Uh, I keep a uh, 4000 and a T6 in my truck. For, for thermostats, I've got little staples, little staple nails, some other fixtures like uh, I've got some uh, three-inch deck screws, sheetrock screws, uh, and then under that, I'll keep under that I keep all my fuses. So you know, 20, 25, 30, and then all the way back to 60. I'll keep those. These are the condensate safety switches. So I like to have these. I love love putting those on people's houses. I love putting those on people's systems. It can, these can save the uh, control board and blower motor and sheetrock down below and all that stuff. So installing these are critical for... All right, 
so got a whip keep a 30 and a 60 amp disconnect on me various sets of screws so we keep we use the um, I use two inch zips I keep three quarter zips uh, three quarter bit tips and then half inch zips uh, on my truck that's what that's the four that we use plus our deck screws and sheetrock screws use those as well um, I keep my capacitors some of you guys like to use the the one you know universal one that you can plug into 14 different uh, plugs and, and those are those are great I personally just like you know, I like having um, these Mars capacitors on there I feel like they're uh, really long lasting so I keep them on my truck uh, and then basically over here I just keep a, some furnace stuff but uh, as the as the season turns from AC season to furnace season I'll use this part of the truck and I'll throw in my uh, my hot surface igniters pressure switches and things like that so but for now I'll keep uh, you know I go through still still go through some ignition modules and some control boards so we'll keep those on on hand all right so just got the ladder track I just got this ladder rack today man. so I've been dying to put my 24 footer on there we're getting a, getting ready to get a 28 footer so looking forward to getting that one pretty soon but here in the back of my truck pretty clean right now so keep some extra hoses over here on my truck just in case you know you gotta you never know when you're vacuuming or re recovering or anything like that um, this is this is my uh, widow maker so mm, I guess these are looking a little sketchy for a widow maker might be meeting mine pretty soon never know it's scary <laughs> but uh, my ladder, R22 recovery tank, R410 recovery tank, a couple nitrogen cylinders. Keep my uh, keep my uh, extension cord and my hoses. And I want I use these zero G hose. It's uh, pretty pretty durable, pretty reliable. I like it a lot. Um, got my vacuum cleaner, and then here in the back there back here is my torch set. So let's go back there and see. Yep, so there's my torch set. And then over here, here's what we're keeping inside the bin. Got my recovery machine, vacuum machine, a scale, a couple tanks of refrigerant right now. So that's what I'm keeping in there. So yeah, uh, some people have been asking about how I'm stocking my truck. Some people wanted to see the Dodge van. Uh, and I never did do one, but uh, so I apologize for that one. It's probably not going to happen now because it's not my van anymore. So it's Keith's van. Unless Keith wants to start making some videos. All right, guys. Well, there's the beast. Just wanted to show it off to you. Catch you guys on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.